we'll look at the other form of linear equations. It's a point-slope form. The point-slope form allows us to use a point and the slope in order to write an equation of a line. Now 8.4, um, the slope-intercept form was more about using the equation to graph the line. The point-slope form is more about writing the equation. The point-slope form says y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We will replace the y1 and the x1 and the slope. So we replace x1 and y1 with a point on the line. We replace m with the slope. This gives us an equation in point slope form. Then we distribute and move the number away from y to put the equation into slope intercept form so that we can graph it. If we don't if we aren't given a slope, we may need to find the slope first. So here's an example. Here we're given a point and a slope. So we're going to use point slope form. And this is going to be our x1 and our y1, and our slope is 5. So x1 is going to go here, y1 is going to go here, and our slope will go here. So we have y minus 1 equals 5 times x minus 1. So this is point slope form. Now they want it in slope intercept form, so we'll distribute the 5 and then we'll add 1 and this is slope intercept. Form. Point slope form is just a starting spot to be able to move us to where we want to be. Okay, so it says find the equation, and then we're going to change it to slope intercept form, and then we'll graph the line. So this will be our x1, and this will be our y1, and this is our m. So we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That will give us y minus y1 is 6 equals m is negative 2 x minus and x1 is a negative 4. So we have minus a negative 4. Remember that really is just a positive. So now we'll distribute. We have y minus 6 equals Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times a positive 4 is a negative 8. We'll add 6 to both sides. We get y equals negative 2x minus 2. So this is our slope-intercept form. We start with point-slope form. That's this right here. Change it to slope-intercept form. And now we can graph. The y-intercept is negative 2. Our slope is negative 2 over 1, so we'll go down 2, right 1, or you could go up 2, left 1, and then we'll draw a line through those points. Okay, this says write an equation for a line that's horizontal and contains the point negative 5, 3. Horizontal means straight across right? Remember what the slope is for that. The slope is zero because it's not steep. So if we use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, here's our z my slope, zero. 
here's my x1 and here's my y1 so I have y minus 3 equals 0 times x minus a negative 5 this is really a plus so I have y minus 3 0 times anything is 0 so all of that just cancels out because it's times 0 we'll add 3 to both sides and we get y equals 3 Remember that a horizontal line is always a y equals a number. Or if you think about how we would graph that, it would be negative 5, 3, straight across, crosses the y-axis at 3, so it's y equals 3. Okay, one more example. This is with two points. So we aren't given a slope here, so we have to find the slope. Remember our slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we'll call this x1, y1, x2, y2, which gives us 1 minus 7 over 2 minus a negative 1. So we had negative 6, this is really plus, over 3, which is negative 2. So my m is negative 2. So now I can do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now here's the thing when you're using point-slope form. You can use either point. You could do it with this point, or you could do it at this point. You just decide whichever one looks easier to you because they'll both give you the same answer in the end. So I'm going to use this point as my x1 and y1 just because the numbers are both positive. So we'll have y minus 1, the y part, equals my slope of negative 2 times x minus the x number which is 2. Then I'll distribute negative 2x plus 4. Then I'll add 1 to both sides. So I get y equals negative 2x plus 5. So here's my equation. To graph it, I would put, there's my 5. can go, remember my slope is negative 2 over 1, rise over run. So I go down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. And that's my equation.